It is Marama Sports Worldwide. I'm looking forward to the journey. Hey, Bafana are playing tonight, eh? Playing against the world champions, France. Hey, they left one guy behind. He's here in studio. Did they leave him behind or did he not qualify? I don't know. But they're playing tonight. This guy is 31 years old. In fact, he's moving into his birthday month in a couple of days. He's going to tell me where we are going to be celebrating that birthday. I don't know where. I don't know if I'm invited, whether I'm invited or not. I'm going to go and great crash. That's how we do things. Come again, kind of tin. I suppose. See a fig. And do utilize our communication lines 0607080484. That's the WhatsApp voice note number. In fact, start sending your WhatsApp voice notes now. You might be disappointed because I keep telling you and people keep sending them late and then we can't play them. Then you get angry. In whatever the language is. This man is versatile. Maybe that's why I get called up with friends. Under the bridge in Katlehong. Yeah, you would have been listening to the press conference today. So yeah, fans will be going back at some point uh, to the stadium. Nice one. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to dwell on that for now. All I can tell you is that there's a very, very fine line between confidence and arrogance. Uh, but that line does not need to be drawn when you are describing Andy Lejali this season. And that's simply because he happens to embody both of those traits as a person and also as a footballer. Uh, I used to read magazines and newspapers and they call him pint-sized and feisty, gritty. They were saying that is fine wine that is maturing. And to say that Jali has been immense for sundowns is pretty much an understatement. The man has been imperious, an engine in the seemingly uh, ever-growing ability to get younger and younger. And he's not ready to run out of steam anytime soon, I can tell you. I see him. Call me six-pack, man. Zobuzo, which come up with six-pack, come down at 31. Go on. Shilum Kabauk. And he's right here. In fact, I respect him because he has now ascended to a position where he's able to wear the captain's armband at probably and arguably one of the most successful teams in the country right now. Mamelodi Sundowns. Babuchal, good evening. Welcome. It's Jablu Gwazba. Mulein Ninja Interrop. Ah, guess I'm going to put my right one. Hi. So everything is going the way. Bigness card to get a big bag of corner band. Pelile low moon. I send a load. How did you feel? Having it under the part. Kakulu Gagbi. That was your motivation. Being it under Kakulu Gakulu. See that one? Yeah. I have still have a picture. Of? Of me, me, George, Togozani Scott Long, and Opa. Uh, in Oba, you know? Yes. Sitting there up there. I still have that picture, you know? I love that picture. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So the yeah. picture of you, Opa, George, what did it say to you? Because they were saying, yeah, these guys that came to Sundowns, there's all cut. Yeah, you know, that picture, it says a lot. But yeah. people, they will never understand. See, when they look at it, they think it's funny. Yeah. But it's not funny. It shows what you must do. When you're watching what you love, mm -hmm. that you're supposed to be there, but you're up there, it's not the same. The feeling is not the same. People, they can talk, but they will never understand. So when you saw the comments about that picture, did it hurt you? I used to love the comments. But they were not nice comments. They were building me. They were brutal though. I, I didn't care. Yeah. They were building me. From the beginning? From the beginning. At no stage did either of the four of you discuss it and say, how do you feel? No, nothing. You took it upon yourself? Yeah. Even the video I did, you know, 
I remember the video said, hey, George, no one is going anywhere. Yeah. You know, people, they laughed. They think I was, uh, this one is crazy. Yeah. No, I was not crazy. I knew what I want. So that was the picture that I can say probably turned your career. Yeah, that sundown. picture and, and the video. Yes. Yeah. Is it because you've matured in understanding that people were always on a break you? Yeah, I think uh, I was in the level where I was like, you know, people, they will make you mm -hmm. and people, they will break you. So which one must I choose? The one that they want or the one that I want? So I chose my happiness. But in choosing your happiness, who was most instrumental in, in assisting you through that process? I think, you see, uh, you know, people, when they see me and Steve Kombela, yeah, my coach, yeah. they think like, uh, it's just now because it's at sundowns. That coach has been there for me for for a long time. Yeah. So every time when I talk to him, you know, every time he was giving me the advice, say what you must do, what you must not do. So I saw the there was also another video with, with the two of you exchanging, you know. It was yeah. almost like hey, no <laughs> tele, no coin, no <laughs> hey? But when, when you see that video, what is it saying to us who don't know about that relationship? That's why you must not judge if you don't know. Mm -hmm. And you must not ever comment from what you hear from other people because you don't know what was happening. So the nice part of that video is that, you know, you, you can exchange the words, but you don't know what it means to us. Mm -hmm. That's the nice part of it. But how was Kompela, what did you say was the one of the biggest points that he made to you as an individual who cares for you to say, Mvana, we value you, we see you, we want you to improve. What was it that he was able to impart to you? No, you know, he was a coach from outside. Yes. So he knew what I can do. So even other people from outside, they were calling me to say, boy, we know what you can do. Like Debo Mloy, yes. coach, you see? So those people I admire so much mm -hmm. in my life because they always telling me, no, relax, your mm -hmm. time will come. As long as you know what you can do and we know what you can do. So they they kept me going. Did you ever feel like giving up? No, never. I never thought of that. At any stage? I never thought of that. Even 2018 when you came back from Belgium? No. Because remember, you clocked the least amount of minutes on the field when you got back. Yeah. And that would have been demoralizing for anybody. Yeah. Because you've come from Europe. Hey, who come get us when Van Omdal? So Van Omdal, how Dal? Injali, but not at all. I was, my mind was not there. Yeah, my mind was on the pitch. Because I remember, um, in fact, it's it's ironical that we have this interview at this stage. Because this time last year, some of the headlines were saying Andy Lejali is on his way out. He's unhappy. He's on the bench. The coaches don't want to field him. Funukhamba lomundo. I don't know how true those reports were, but they were there. March 2021. So if we mark sundowns, then I was going to say, no, maybe I know about it. Yeah. But now, outside of sundowns, ah, no, it's not my business. Just gossip. And I gossip. I don't go with gossip people. Yeah. They can gossip and say whatever, but if you don't come straight to me, it means that you don't know nothing. Billing a kick on yourself. At no stage did you want to leave Klorkop and say, I, Andy Lechali, who has been such a great player at Orlando Pirates, such a, a great player Le at Belgium, or stand. So, things are doing the sundowns, things are causing someone to win. Oh, where come in your uh, my club? Like win or win? No, for no win. Win, like sometimes also win. Yeah. You can make no mistake. Every season, you know, you have a trophy. And the sixth successive 
league title is pending. You are the captain at the moment. It's not pending. It's there already. What deal? Pele. Oh, for no piggies. Yeah. I got piggies yet. So you're saying that Sundowns have have clinched it for the season? It's done. Season's over. Done. But we have a tet. It says we have a pendule. We have a tet. But in? But in? But in? But in? We have a pendule foot. Lam flange? Not lam flange. We have a pendule. We have a pendule. We have a pendule. We have a pendule. We have Benitin, so my pendul. Abanya, abashala wamanya matembo o abanya nje ababu. Aye, aye. Book the letter. No, but seriously, it as far as you're concerned, as far as Andy Lejali is concerned, the league title is wrapped up for the season. Yeah. Nobody can catch up. Uncle to no opinion yak. I'm young as young yak, you're right. Got the am opinion. For the same opinion in doing the galai. In jail. And if the stand in captain stands in until match day 30, it means then the stand in captain gets to lift the trophy. Yeah. And who's the stand in captain? Oh, it's me. <laughs> Are you ready for you that? You know, it's me. I can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. But what what makes it so exciting? What makes it so enticing for you as a captain? You know, at Sundowns, it's not only you that you're a captain. I'm just having that armband. Sure. We have leaders at Sundowns. So that's the most important thing that people don't understand. If you're wearing that armband, doesn't mean that you have to tell everyone what to do. No. Everyone is a leader. Mm. So once you think that armband is everything, you are wrong. And you're right, because before your game against Golden Arrows, MTN 8, the 3 0, your captains were out. The coaches had to decide with Bazo Fireban. They could have decided Musa, Libusa, in. They could have decided anybody who's there could have been a captain because they've been captain before, somewhere else in their previous clubs. I remember Mangobem Nguti saying that he wanted someone with a, a warrior mentality. So when somebody says you're a warrior mentality, it means you. That's why I gave you this cap, your soldier, combined with this one. Because remember, a soldier never gives up. Uh, at least now I have caps, eh? Buzo <laughs> shop, <laughs> <laughs> but just that description, because I was fascinated by it when when Mangoba spoke about the, that warrior mentality. How did you receive it, the captaincy and that ability and that leadership and everything else that comes with being a captain? That's why at Sundown it's always important to to have to talk with other players, even if you are younger or middle or older, you must, mm -hmm. every time we, we we joke, everyone, everyone we joke with anything. Yeah. So you don't come with your problems there. Sure. There it's your workplace. In your workplace, you must be happy every time that you forget about the, your problems outside. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. And the more you forget about the outside things that is happening, and then you focus where you're working, everything is going to go your way. And everything is going your way. December, Footballer of the Month. The award sits down with you, together with your coaches, Coaches of the Month. You, I don't even, I lost count of your Men of the Match awards, but they've been piling up. But let me just take you to the December accolade. I don't know if you expected it to happen. Was it something you were thinking about was it a surprise for you? I will say that, you know, with me, I don't like this individual awards because we're working as a team. Mm -hmm. So when you get something, it means you get as a team because the whole team is working because I can't be alone in that, in that field. Mm -hmm. As much as I got it, but I was happy for the team that at least there's something that the team is doing. And if the coaches they're getting... It means 
they can recognize our coaches. Right. And there's something that they are doing good. So that's the good part of it. But was it humbling for you, given your journey, given how people had written you off? Remember, those those individual awards are presided by people that know the game. I mean, I don't know who the judges are these days, but people like Abou Farouk Khan and other journalists would sit through and choose. So when you get outside of it being an individual award, and I understand what you're saying, but for you, how humbling is it, given where you're coming from? Yeah, it is humbling because it shows that there's something that I can still improve on. Yeah. And when someone like me coming where I'm coming from, it means a young boy can say that even me, I can still make it. Even if they can write me out, mm. I can still make it. But not making it anyway, making it Mamelodi Sundowns. Yeah. I mean, that makes it even that much sweeter. A very simple question about individual awards. Footballer of the season will be who? I, I don't know yet. Who do you think? Uh, I don't know. I can give you that one when you played 25 matches. Then I can give you an answer. How many games have you played so far? Sundowns. Hmm. We played 23. Only seven games. Anywhere yeah. in the world, by that time, the bulk of the games have been played. They can choose a football of the season already. Who do you think deserves it? No, for now, we're still working as a team. Rulani Mkwena says you deserve to be football of the season. A nominee of the football of the season. He's a coach. You watch from outside. so. But is he correct? It's easy for him to say that because oh. he do analysis everything with the coaches so maybe there's something that he saw that i'm doing yeah he saw that you're averaging seven out of ten eight out of ten every single game that's what he saw but that's what uh, big coaches always say hmm. that's what pep always say that my midfielder can't rank uh, less than seven hmm. that's the engine yeah so would you accept a nomination do you think you deserve to be nominated? I'll accept it when it comes. Yeah. Yeah. But from what your coach is saying, because he feels that that conversation should begin about Andy Lejali being a nominee for football of the season. No, me, I'm still, now I'm still working out for, for Champions League. So Champions League, net bank, because yeah. the league is done. Me, I'm looking at these two. So when you got to Sundowns, there was already a star on the jersey. Hang it. Yeah. How important is it for Andy Led to be part of a team that gets another star? You know, Ngaslo Zaku Pirates and then Salo Zaku Final. Yeah. It was not nice. I know the journey. I've been there. So this one. I know very well mm. what it's going to mean to me. Tell us, what would it mean? I'll tell you when I got it. Tell us what it would mean if it happened. It will mean a lot. You're not saying a lot? No. I can't say a lot, but it will mean a lot. To you individually, to your family, to your fans, to people that have passed on who believed in you before? I think most... To to my dad, yeah, to mean a lot. But also just the opportunity, again as a leader. Because leaders improve, and leaders improve other people, and that is what your role becomes. Others would think, hey, sometimes if you become a captain, it takes away from your game, it takes away from your focus. Has it done that to you? Because clearly, from what we can see, man. It has sharpened your game. It's improved you. But that's where your game must be up. Because as a captain, it's like when you're wearing number 10. Yes. You can't wear number 10 and, and be a loser. Oh. It's not possible. Oh. So as a captain, you must lead as example. We move into second half of the game between myself as well as Andy Lejali. Uh, with Jimmy, the first half, 
Sibem Koksi, who says strong mind, you I can see the tweets are loading. I can see the voice notes are loading. Let me remind you again 060 708 0484. 060 708 0484. And that is the WhatsApp voice note number. Later, we'll open up the lines 010 442 6300. Steve Kombella, I see you. Very active. He is listening attentively. And he says, Andy Lejali hates disregard and disrespect. You get what you give. He's like a mirror. He reflects what you are. You disrespect him. He won't disrespect you, but he'll struggle to respect you. Hey. hey. It's not a fake one, this one. <laughs> you disrespect him. He won't disrespect you, but he'll struggle to respect you. That is powerful. Now, this happens to any man with balls. I see you there, Kompel. I'll say it the way you say it. Uh, uh, yeah. It says, unfortunately, when you have a pair, you're a threat. How do you respond to that? that, that I mean, phew, that is powerful. If you don't get it, forget about it. Thank you. Amen. Was Lalela when, when the show started. I'm not even going to ask you a question. Just your immediate reaction to what you've heard. I mean, I, I know, he didn't even tell me his name. <laughs> and you could tell that this is genuine, genuine excitement. How do you respond to just the bulk of the messages you've heard now? I will not drop into the cloud. I will not drop into the cloud. I will not drop into the cloud. I will not drop into the no. Is there for Labangas? What is it about that? I wanna learn to lay sugar from a Sure. So it means he respect abanayo from na abo bantu abo. And I na my limit. No ba abanyi benga ndazi personally benda zi TV pela, but it means a lot to me when I hear someone saying that. There's gonna be lots more. Trust me, that are gonna be coming through. U Udumi was talking about you being improved and fitter. We've seen you put in the work. We've seen you even at home when you were shooting videos and the kids were there trying to imitate or take part, <laughs> you know. So for me, that was a beginning of a journey that I was witnessing because it was saying to us, take a look at me. How would you answer to me when he's asking about your improved state right now? I think, I think the people that... I'm surrounded mm. by it's them, it's their hard work that they are doing, that I'm following. Right. Blessing talked about does it bother you about Bafana? Was he, uh, and then somebody else also talked about the Bafana thing. I'm going to park Bafana until after the 20 past break. Uh, because it, it, it will need us to expand. Um, Uluazi was praising you, saying that trophies follow you wherever you go. Uh, Deboche was talking about you being the best midfielder on the continent. Uh, but I think the key question that he was asking is what have you learned in Europe that has now improved your game currently? In Europe, you know, I was there alone. Yeah. For years. That people, they don't understand. They don't, they don't get it. You know, when you talk to someone that it was never even out from South Africa to go to Lesotho or Switzerland. They won't understand. They won't get it. It's like now when you play Champions League. Yeah. They don't know how we feel when we go and play Champions League. The days we spend there. Traveling, hotels. You know. Yeah. It's too much. But because it's our job, we have to be professional and do what people they know us always do. Mm. So in Europe, I was there 
for five years alone. Yeah, my cousin too. Yeah. Banda. Banda. Mm. So when I came back, I knew that even I can go to any team I will play. It's because of what the confidence that they gave me when I was there. The coaches that they coached me. So you were confident enough to come back to any team that wanted you here? Yeah. yeah. Failed. Export. Let me start there before I hit the WhatsApp voice note. <clears throat> How did that land on you? Because I'm sure you you, you didn't not see it. You saw what they were saying. Europe, boy, failed, failed export. What was your response to that? I think even that person who wrote that yeah. headline in Belgium. You played your most games before Akulumi. But you, that's what I'm saying, that whether it was Pirates, whether it was Sundowns, I'm at tax, all I know is that you had never ever clocked as many minutes on the field as you did when you were at Ostender. Yeah. So the failed export is a non-starter for you. Ah, uh, no, man. Lo muntu bege funu wazi yogutu which analyst. I think there was only one season, but also just because of one of the what's of voice those talked about the injuries and being there uh, was the 2016 2017 season where you had 90 minutes on the field but there were there was a reason for that it wasn't because there was a whole season living at Glalis. but after that like i'm saying in following your career you have never ever played more minutes than you played at ostend yeah in one season oh in multiple seasons which was two yeah it's a failed topic. I'm trying to find a, a good way to approach this. But let me read out these names. Ne? I scribbled them down earlier. Rushni Dirk, Lyle Lekay, Kuliso Mudao, Debo Mugwen, Mtobi Mvala. You know those people? Yes. Where do they play? Sundowns. Where are they now? In France. Is there a Sundowns player that's missing from the ones that I've just mentioned? All of them. Is there one player from Sundowns? Sundowns players are missing there. There are a lot. All of them. The Me? whole Sundowns team is missing there. Like? The whole team. But some of them are foreign players. They can't be. Yeah, open. the ones only yeah. the ones that are foreign so that they can't play for Bafana. The whole team. It's missing. Is that right? Yeah. Let me read you again. What standard the team that you are playing for is where in Europe? Belgium. It's in Belgium. Let me read this quote for you. I know Jali very well because he played in Belgium. And this is a choice I made from the beginning. And I'm still okay for myself with that choice. So I will try other players. Jali is an older player too. So I think that with the younger players I have now, I'm also looking for other types of players in the midfield. He says, you know... This is a choice. This is a choice I made. This is Coach Hugo Bruce about you being excluded. What do you make of that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, ne? I want to learn from this closer street. I want to learn from this closer street. I want to learn from this closer street. What 
Benzo Pendulang in Lel or in Tete into Enzo Solan Gomso, the Vogue Witty. Why in the Ton Teteganch, Bogmelin Teteganch? Got to Elamli one, Witty Witty Uyandas. So why in the before Andy born and Owen born? So Londo Lake Lutin Lomto. We are mas lom dagati tangai, and we are mas gu tangen zanton. So ngo akom do zom kalela. Oguti ati nengai. Eno the happy mna pundi kon. The happy coaches zam zin coacher gamandi, teammates zam zin pete gamandi. Ama injury zasan party. So the happy pundi kon. Dai me le national team kago chle footin dai seven zela. So, but the clean the corner, longer class. Mature answer. This is not a 2015 Andy Lejali that's speaking. The captain Andy Lejali that is currently responding to Coach Hugo Bruce says to me that you actually don't really care about the comments. You care about where you are in your career. Am I reading you correctly? Tagus. I clabang and nagangman. Not. Not nagangman. But at 31. Oh, she has a bad thing. I'm trying to turn it. Do you believe you can still contribute to the national team? Kakulugag. That's why I'm the Kailwood. No magnin. Nandikon. Is Fiso no ma Magwenzeg? Magwenzeg. Benzoti is Fiso or in the Afuna if Boktoa Azang and da figure pa. So Mogu Denzile. Uzo Kobega and Nsuzo Kobega and Denze. My Kulmangan Jena will coach Wenuti Magwenzeg. Usasere to glad for a national team. But my wenze good success or yen who coach Hugo Proso Corner. O te ubonile na se Belgium. Yagwazi u right now. Ubonuti tuba lakul says. Find a makela no gzondai. But a gaz gzondelan don. Zo fuga one te ate makiak bullies. Now zo two. Go to ayak bullies. Injal. Bonto zo shinjum gondo. Lindolo Makelon alone. So one bullies. Zotin, Zopendolanjan. I go say, Maki, Gunjan. Yeah, no me a cold foot. We and I for a lunch. The night in the mem. When? The same besioch. No was no roller. Uzwega, she would be goo ye in king. I tell too much. I tell you, Cobella Pambega, your pambi. Yeah. The same vazier. We are as well, coach. That's very cool. Again, uh, cool at any stage. Since I'm up, I. Mazela ngale. Mazela ngap. Oh, the time is a Belgium. Oh, yeah. And? Oh, we go right. Young kid, we right. Before I be coach, you have Yeah. Is this a Cameroon? That's a Cameroon. I terminate. Yeah. Yeah. And? Young kid, we right. And? No, no, we say right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I guess we took what to call up. It was then, but in the enjoy what you call nine day and zaga. Act about what you go by in king for yen. Man, a big mem, what was over. I call one to name when we are cool. Yeah, and zag. Yuk. So, um, Zali Lobe Zala, a mammy, it's a manning lapper, it was then the same. And the child, oh, Zala, a mammy, it's a manning lapper with Santos. That's an clarify find my kill one. In Jalo. I got a man. So, so, gag food. Okay. There you got your response, South Africa, the continent, and the world. In his first direct response to comments attributed to the head coach of Bafana Bafan, Hugo Bros, saying it's like that neighbor. Who has an issue with you? For all these years and in one day, you wake up. 
and that neighbor is smiling and is greeting. Says we'll greet him back. In fact, he'll invite him for lunch. Says let's go, let's eat. But we're not going to talk about what's happened in the past. But I want these two minutes to be yours to address the nation. I'm not asking you a question. I'm handing it to you to deal with it in whatever way. So that must let down with seven city amen Sam. Five, two, one, bam. <laughs> Yo, I tarob. That's the embryo in Isn't the end there? Go to a mong um to no bag in the canton. Moyas do it for night. Yeah. Couldn't lizzy. Cobbeg your pambin. Sometimes you know um to a volunt lizzy or can do miss a yen. Cosu chonge, a banyaband of us in Vaguac. Couldn't lizzy, chonge pambin, or Valama Jeb. Quebec. again. Peace and quiet. So, not about me. If it was about me, then I was going to be selfish. So I'm not that in that space of being selfish. Mm. 